and she sold whoa can you say wow yes wow oh my goodness when we walked into the estate sale it was afternoon and there was only an hour left or so to shop imagine my surprise when the first thing i saw as i walked into the kitchen was this hey bubble buddies thanks for watching Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. In this video, we are going to talk about bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. In this video, I'm going to feature bolo items, items that sold for a lot of money. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And hopefully, when you're outsourcing, you can find these items. All right, let's get started here with the first one. These come from my Bolo Buddies members from my YouTube channel and members from my Facebook group. Anyone has the opportunity to share a Bolo under this post in the Facebook group. This is under the announcements slash featured section and each month it updates to a new color and a new month. So um, make sure you go and share a Bolo. If you are a Bolo Buddies member of my YouTube channel level two, you will get a shout out in the video. I'll tell um, either your eBay store or your YouTube channel. I'll pop it up when I share your bolo and you will be linked down in the description of the video. If that's something you're interested in, you're welcome to join. There's a join button down below. If you don't see it, go to my link tree. There's a link there and it's also in the description. No pressure to join memberships, okay? It is just if you want that perk, if you're trying to grow a YouTube channel, if you're trying to get exposure for your eBay store, it is a perk. So, you are welcome to share. And if you share right, your eBay store is going to pop up in the screenshot anyway. So you'll see, um, depending on how you share the post, there's a certain way you can do it and your store name will show up. So um, keep that in mind if you're sharing. So go over to the Facebook group. We're almost at 80,000 members and uh, follow or join, whatever you call it, and share a bolo. All right, let's get started. I found this going through a jewelry bin at one of my local thrift stores. I paid $4 for it, listed it for $234 and accepted a best offer of $185 plus the buyer paid shipping. This one comes from Timeless by Tiffany and this is her eBay store. It is an Eagle Bolo. It's a bolo tie, a bolo tie. This is a video about bolos, not the same thing. A bolo tie goes around your neck and kind of, you know, you guys know what a bolo tie is. Anyway, Eagle Bolo Tie Slider Motorcycle Harley Davidson Ride Western Vintage 14 Karat Gold. How cool is that? Okay, look at this one. Found this Thumbelina doll open box but attached to card from the Don Bluth movie at Goodwill for $6. It took about three months uh, playing with price, but today someone bought it for $99 plus $22 shipping. And this is what she looks like. Six bucks at the Goodwill. See, you can still find stuff at the Goodwill. It's getting harder. Uh, depends on the location, I think. I know um, I have three Goodwills near me. One of them, the prices are Resellers aren't going to buy it because it's too high for you're just not going to make a profit. People that come in there aren't going to buy it because they don't want to pay the crazy price. So I don't know who's going to buy it. Hopefully it just ends up at the Goodwill Benz and I'm going to dig it out. Oh, did I say that? Okay, let's look at this next one. After a tough and largely non-productive morning of yard sailing, my wife and I decided to hit the local estate sale. Now, question. When you write the word yard sailing, how do you spell it? Yard, tell me how you spell sailing. Put it in the comments because it's so funny because I think he spelled it right, but I see so many different ways of spelling it because I really don't even think it's like, I don't know, technically a word. I don't know, but let me know how you spell yard sailing. Not I went to yard sales. We all know how to do that. But the ING version. <laughs> let me know in the comments. <laughs> all right. So um, 
My wife and I decided to hit the local estate sales, something we normally don't do when there's yard sales to go to because of the typically higher prices. When we walked into the estate sale, it was afternoon and there was only an hour left or so to shop. Imagine my surprise when the first thing I saw as I walked into the kitchen was this. It was a, it had a $30 price tag on it, which I had no issue paying because I knew the value was great. A careful examination showed me that this item was indeed still factory sealed. Don't, don't, don't. This is definitely a bolo. Okay. And I knew I had a great bolo. It sold in less than two weeks for a full asking price of $324.99 plus shipping. And I always love Jerry's post because he always has like a fun little story to go along with it. This is a Black & Decker Space Mask, I'm sorry, Space Maker Toaster Oven under the cabinet. This is a toaster oven, okay? There's also like can openers. Um, what are the other things? Help me out here. Can openers. Um, I don't know. There's other things that go under the cabinet. They're all bolos. If you find them, they're all bolos, but I know can openers are one of them. And then Toy Attic, Jody put, I love estate sales because yes, prices are higher, but the stuff is usually better than at yard sales. They are selling the whole house instead of just stuff they don't want. If you go to enough estate sales in your area, you can learn which companies have the best prices and which ones have no idea what they have. Good luck out there. Jody Toy Attic is incredible. Check out her YouTube channel. All right, this one comes from Flippin' Hot Finds, and she is a bolo finder, and she sources a lot from YouTube auctions, and I recently did a video on bolos found at YouTube auctions from um, the auctions were auctions for you and Donatella Bottolino. Um, I source from them on a regular basis, and I you guys always hear in my what solds that I bought it from them. So YouTube for me is a great place to source when I'm at home and I'm working and I'm listening to them and I'm like, oh, I want to buy that. I want to sell that. Um, some people can't get out and source or don't want to go to the thrift stores. Whatever the reason being, some people just like to source online better. Um, Flippin' Hot Finds is one of those people. I don't know what her reasoning is. I think she just likes to source online. And she says she buys 70% of her items in her eBay store from Auctions for You and Donatella Bottolino. I will link all of them down below, but they basically sell to resellers. Here's the video I did. If you want to see some of the big money bolos that people have bought from their auctions, just incredible. I mean, when I tell you incredible, wait until you see some of them. Anyway, uh, speaking of Flippin' Hot Finds, she bought this from Auctions for You, and this is Auctions for You's YouTube channel. She said, I bought it originally for me and then decided to list it. Paid 65, so she did pay up for a little bit, but she was planning on keeping it as a personal purchase. And then she probably looked it up. It's a Tiffany and Company pitcher, and she sold it for $199. So that is incredible. Got this sculpture for about $3 a year ago. Took a while, but it sold for full asking price. This comes from Thrift and Style 1156. This is her eBay store. And this right here is a vintage sculpture stone carving Eskimo couple native art made in Alaska, $39.97. So yeah, um, I'm guessing it's probably artist made or maybe a um, handmade item. What do you call that? Artisan? Harder to find item. So maybe one of a kind. I don't recall when I got this little guy, but he was cheap. Sold in a few days. Vintage Elf Knee Hugger Christmas Ornament. And these can do really, really well. Um, I just sold one of these for $72. She sold hers for $18. So I will say there is a big um, gap in what they sell for. It really, they vary. Some go for big money. Some are bread and butter. Uh, could she have listed this one higher? I have no idea. I can barely see the photo. It's like this big, um, but I will pull it up for you guys. If you find these felt vintage knee huggers that are vintage, do not call them elf on the shelf. You will get a violation, a policy violation or a Vero. 
Um, that is one thing that people are getting hit for. These are not Elf on the Shelf. Elf on the Shelf, I believe, is branded or trademarked. And, you know, those are the ones that are current and that people are buying now for their kids to put on the shelf or whatever. You know, they, they're like cloth and plush, totally different. So do not use Elf on the Shelf in your title. And you can find that information in my Vero videos that I've been doing. Um, those videos are not as fun as the Bolo videos, but they do help you learn what not to list on eBay. I have a whole series. Basically, I do the same thing. I post a video. No, I post a post like this in my Facebook group, my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, and I ask people to share their Vero's, their policy violations, things that got removed, reasons they got suspended, so that it keeps all of us in the know of current things that are happening in the reseller community that we need to stay away from and not list on eBay. So check out that whole series. Um, it's crazy. I've learned so much from everybody. And for all of you that are watching and have shared either a Bolo or a Vero, thank you so much for sharing and helping everyone learn. Don't know much about golf clubs. Got this about eight months ago. It's for a left-handed person and I believe it's vintage. It sat in my money pile, listed the beginning of December, and sold in four days for full asking price. And this is also from Thrift and Style 1156. It is a Cobra Golf um, Wood Factory Graphite Cobra. That's what it looks like. $54.97 for that. Golf clubs. This is me. <laughs> I'm walking right past them. I was at the Goodwill Ben's outlet the other day, and there was a whole bunch of them. And I was like, I should really look at these. And I looked for like two seconds. And I think I even got my phone out to like look up comps and I'm like, I do not want to ship this. No, I'm not doing it. And I left them behind. So if they were a bolo, hopefully somebody else picked them up and they didn't go to the landfill. Ah. Okay, here's a fun little plush. Got this brand new with tags Pokemon plush at Savers for $3. It even still had the original price sticker from the Pokemon Center, which said $32.99. Took around six to eight weeks or so to sell, but it sold for full asking price of $59.99 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $71.79. It is a Pokemon Center um, large water fairy posable collectible plush. I have never seen this one. So, um, Huh, Primarina? Maybe that's her name. Look how cute she is. She's cute. Bought this remote at an estate sale. It was $4. Sold it on eBay in just a couple of days for $150. Took an offer down from $175. So they originally had a list of her $175. Took a best offer of $150. It's a Longitech Harmony 650 all in one programmable remote control. Check it out. Um, remote controls uh, for, uh, I almost said appliances, not appliances, TVs, um, DVRs, DVD players, all of those things. Those can do well. Some of them go for more than others, but don't forget to think outside the box. Ceiling fan remotes, remotes for like beds to make them go up and down. Be on the lookout for those. Some of those go for crazy money. I remember there was one day I was at the Goodwill Benz and uh, Dad Planet was there. And he was overlooking in a bin that I had already been in. <laughs> a bin I had already been in. And he holds this up and I'm like, what is it? And it was some remote for something. And I totally missed it. And I'm like, man. And I think he said it would go for like 100 bucks. So if you're not following Dad Planet, definitely go check out his channel. Um, he is definitely a bolo finder. He does a lot of clothing also. Um, so you'll definitely learn a lot about that as well. Got these out of the trash as my neighbor was cleaning house. <laughs> You're like, are they cleaning out the house? <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, some people throw away good stuff. And if you know that people are known to throw out good stuff, heck yeah, get out the binoculars. Started at $199.99, already made over $700 on Whatnot with the action figures I found in the same trash. Over one k and still more to list. Don't be afraid of curbside. I want to be your neighbor. <laughs> what? Who throws this stuff out? Christopher? Christopher? 
Look what this is. Mr. I buy chit, amazing steals and deals. Look at this. Huge vintage Bluebird Polly Pocket, nine houses, 45 figures and pets, $316. And she said she sold over $700 worth on Whatnot. You guys, if you are not on Whatnot, um, as a buyer or a seller, you have got to go check it out. Whatnot, people are sourcing on Whatnot. I know one of the comments said they got something in a giveaway and I think they sold it for 60 bucks. So definitely something to consider. I have a link down below. It's a whatnot link. You can follow me, Bolo Buddies. It's a referral link. So you are going to get $15 free to shop when you join with my link down below, my referral link. Now, this first one is not a big money Bolo in a sense that it's a big money Bolo, but she sold them over and over and over and over again. And I'm going to tell you about it. This one comes from Rhonda. She is a moderator of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. So if you're in my group, you're going to see Rhonda. Her YouTube channel is Got Junk in Our Trunk. She is fantastic. If you are not subscribed to her, you need to sub her up. But she does a video series called Why Did I Buy It? And she formally did estate sales. So she is like knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Go sub her up. You'll see what I mean. And her what sold videos are short, usually five minutes or less. And she just slams them at you. So you're going to learn a lot from her. But here's her little story time. Are you ready? My daughter and I traveled to Mountain View, Arkansas for a weekend trip and ran across a rural yard sale. 15 of these were in the free pile. For several, several years, the host of the yard sale had provided parking for the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile when it was in the area doing promotional work and had these giveaways left over from these events. The first one sold for $11.99 plus shipping immediately on Etsy. I sold two others at the price overnight, I'm sorry, at that price overnight and raised the list price a bit upon each subscri- Oh gosh, subs- I can't say this word. <laughs> oh, each subs- <laughs> Oh, thanks Rhonda. Thanks Rhonda. This is what the word looks like. We're just going to go with that. Sale since the first sale. I can't say that word. It's kind of like aluminum. I can't say it. Um, I have, so if you're new here, you've probably like already like, see ya, this girl's nuts. Um, if you've been here a while, thanks for hanging out. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate you. Okay. I have sold all but three in about 10 days and current price is at $19.99 plus shipping. So basically after each sale, she kept raising the price. <laughs> Pictured are the first one and the two most recent solds. Find me and the video of this trip on YouTube got junk in our trunk. Here they are. They're little um, wiener hot dogs. I think, are they whistles? I think she said they were whistles. I ha I've had these mother of pearl fish shaped caviar dishes for at least a couple years. Listed them over a year ago, knowing that the customer base would be small. I have no idea who sculpted them. We got them from an estate clean out, so we had no cash in them, but we did have our time invested. They just sold for full asking price and the customer paid the shipping cost. They sold for $155. Um, this one comes from um, Bolo Buddies member, Grinning Grandma. And this is her YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. Found this at the Goodwill bin. So I paid about a dollar or two and sold it for 70 plus shipping. This one comes from Bolo, Buddy, Bolo Buddies member PNW Flips. This is her YouTube channel. This is a vintage men's Cabela's Army Green Goose Down Puffer Jacket. Parka coat. Anytime you can find a jacket that is like a puffer full of down, look it up. A lot of times they are big money bolos. My girlfriend and I are both full-time resellers on eBay. We follow and watch your videos every day. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I got this God of War mug from the Salvation Army. As I was on my way to the register, it caught my eye and I had to stop and look at it. I bought it for $1.99 and it sold for $129.99 plus shipping. Loot Crate Gaming Collectible. So God of War must be like a gamer's thing. I've never heard of it, but this is what it looks like. $129.99. Won this 
on an online auction, paid $11.50 and took a best offer of $100. Pre-owned remotes and individual pieces also sell very well. Okay, yep, this is a GeoTrack. So this one is new old stock and that is incredible. It's from 2007. Anytime you can find toys that are new old stock, I'm not saying they're all gonna be big money bolos, but typically, you know, if it's something that is collectible, it's going to it's gonna go for a lot of money. This sold for $100. Um, I have sold the remotes pretty consistently for, you know, anywhere from $15 to $25, depending on the remote. It doesn't even have to have the train that goes with it. You can sell the remote separately. Um, I recently found one at the Goodwill Benz, and I was like, I know what this is because I've sold these before. And I didn't have the train. And I'm like, heck yeah, I'm still grabbing the remote. Um, part it out. Replacement parts. They sell. Okay. Grab these three for five. Oh my goodness. My husband has sold these. I remember when he brought these home and I looked them up and I was like, oh my goodness. Bolo. I was like, Wow, these are, are incredible. So anyway, grabbed three for five a piece and within 24 hours sold for $135. Um, I think they come in a set of five or six. So if you have the complete set, woo, they can go for a lot. They are Hallmark Happy Tappers. And it looks like um, they've got the original tags attached and everything. So $135 on those. That's awesome. So what they do is they are they connect. So if one of them's singing, they like sing together and uh, you piece them all like in a line and I, I can't, they, they're synchronized. That's the word, synchronized. And Hallmark has these also in different styles. So it's not only the happy tappers, there's other things also. So definitely be on the look out for those things. Anything that's synchronized. There's also um, the dinosaur train animals that do pretty well. Um, I've sold those before. They're dinosaurs that, you know, they talk back and forth. I couldn't believe the comps when I picked this up for $5.99 at a local thrift store. Sat on it for a few months, even turned down offers last week of $115. It's a Hallmark keepsake ornament from 2006. Six, I'm sorry, baby's first Christmas rattle snow globe blue. Okay, turned down an offer for $115. Uh, so did she sell it for 180? It looks like she sold it for $180. So I recently had somebody ask me, do people buy like baby's first Christmas or happy anniversary from dates of previous years? The answer is absolutely. Number one, they get lost. Number two, they get broken. Number three, um, they want a backup in case of one of those two things happens. Who knows why people buy them? Who cares? <laughs> they buy them. Um, and the harder to find they are, the more they go for. And the older they are, you know, sometimes it's just a limited run. So there's not a lot of them out there. So yes, the answer is yes. Now, do you have to wait a long time for it to sell? Maybe, maybe. The item might be more long tail because you're going to have to have that specific, correct, right buyer that needs that item. Or if the date's not really showing, it might not matter. But yes, definitely they do sell. Okay. This is wool from my rabbits. What? What? <laughs> Let's, let me read this again. This is wool from my rabbits that I've had for a long time finally decided to list all my wool. So I had nothing but time in it. Sold on Mercari, had it listed for 82 and took an offer of $66 plus shipping. So she is selling her rabbit's wool. Gotta love it. This is what it looks like. 8.4 ounce of raw chocolate English Angora rabbit, rabbit wool unprocessed pure is my other December bolo got it in a box lot at local auction with many other items for three dollars so probably have about 25 cents in it sold it for 60 plus shipping on Poshmark it's a makeup vanity magnifying mirror that recharges with a touch control light and extendable shaft and it sold for 60 dollars on Poshmark and this is what it looks like it comes from Hamilton's heirlooms and he specializes in um, 
Ethan Allen. If you guys are a part of my group, you guys are going to know who Bradford Hamilton is because he shares his knowledge like crazy with members of the group and helps everybody out that requests help on Ethan and Allen. Ethan and Allen. <laughs> no, Ethan Allen. Um, so he really specializes in it. He has really focused in on learning and educating himself on this brand and he makes a ton of money selling it. This one right here is a rare Ethan Allen 1776 or maybe it's 1776 is maybe the number for it. Maple King canopy bed frame. I don't know about you, but I personally have no interest in selling furniture. None whatsoever. I don't have anywhere to put it. I don't want to rent a storage unit. I, I don't want to figure out how to ship it. That is of no interest to me. But I will tell you, the amount of people that are interested in learning about furniture in my Facebook group, it's incredible. There are so many people that are buying these big items and they are selling them for big profits. So if you have the space and the knowledge, it is definitely a home run bolo category if you know what you're looking for. So he bought this um, on Facebook Marketplace for $100 and he just sold it on eBay for a best offer of $2,500 and it's going to Orlando, Florida. And that's what it looks like. That is incredible. And the buyer paid shipping. So I, if I remember correctly, he uses UShip and I think you can uh, Google or uh, YouTube UShip to learn how that works. I'm pretty sure you like bid or put it out there and then people bid on it and then you choose uh, somebody to come and get it and ship it for you. So I don't know a whole lot about it. It's not my thing, but he flips Ethan and Allen, st Ethan Allen stuff all the time for crazy money. It's just incredible. Found this at a local flea market I go to, passed it up five times, paid 50 cents for the dish, sold in 24 hours. So he must or I'm sorry, she must go to this flea market on a regular basis and just kind of walk past it, walk past it. I don't know if it was like different times or just the same day, but how funny is that? Um, I'm sure that we all walk past items all the time that we should pick up, but she ended up picking it up and it sold in 24 hours for $89.99. It is a, ooh, Saraline Renaud, Renaud. Oh, I know this one. Limoges. Did I get it right, guys? Limoges. La Fiette rectangle dish. I know I messed up some of it, but I think I got Limoges right. I think I've got that one down. And if not, I'm sorry, I tried. Um, $89.99 on that one. This one comes from Mom Knows Treasures. This is her YouTube channel. Go and sub her up. She paid $14.99 for this at an online auction, and it sold in about a week for full asking price plus shipping. It's a vintage Jingle Bell Rock animated Santa from 1998, and she sold it for $85, and the buyer paid shipping on that. This one comes from The Quiet Thrifter. Um, that is her eBay store name. And she is a Bolo Buddies member. This is what her store looks like. And she sells things that I walk past. I did a whole video featuring her store because she's just incredible. Uh, definitely check out her eBay store down below. I bought these alabaster grapes at an estate sale for $5 for both and took a best offer of $65 and the buyer paid shipping. So yeah, anytime you can find um, stone or glass or just different types of fruit, it can be big money. So these were alabaster. Check them out. I haven't seen grapes. I've sold like apples and, um, oh, what are the other things? Peaches, apples. I think I've, I've even sold some really beautiful glass, um, grapes and stuff like that. I, I really like picking up fruit. That sounded really weird. I really like to pick up fruit. <laughs> I'm Courtney from Bolo Buddies and I like to pick up fruit. Oh, goodness. Okay. I bought this giant new with tags Hello Kitty plush at a garage sale for $12.50 and took a best offer of $80 and, a and the buyer paid shipping. And this is what it looks like. It's from 2014. It is a jumbo Hello Kitty. And um, I love seeing that she sold this because she is more of a collectibles, fancy glass, you know, the stuff I walk past. She's like seeing her sell plush, I'm like, you go girl, you go girl. 
$85 plush or $80 plush. All right. Another plush. I paid 25 cents for this plush. I almost left it behind. I was shocked that it was worth so much. It is the Crude's Plush Chunky Saber Tooth Tiger Macawanavore Macaw Blue Dreamworks Toy. Macawanavore. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's it sounds cool. She sold this for $52.08, and that's what it looks like. 25 cents, and it's got the original tag? What? Definitely would have grabbed that. I listen to your Bolo videos all the time, Courtney, so I knew in the back of my mind that House of Hatton was a good name. Paid $2 at a garage sale and sold for my full asking price of $112.95. Vintage House of Hatton Decala Fire and Ice Santa Reindeer Mirror Pond figurine from 1999. This is what it looks like. Yes, yes, yes. House of Hatton. Um, I had a whole bunch of ornaments. Um, some of them were even broken that I did awesome with that were House of Hatton. That is a great brand. This one comes from Cat Feeling Thrifty. And I think she may be coming out with a YouTube channel. So stay tuned. Um, but this is her eBay store for now. And she sold, whoa, can you say wow? Yes. Wow. Oh my goodness. Britannica Great Books of the Western World Complete Set. It says a family friend relative passed and I purchased many items at a very low cost. $10 for this set. No clue that they would sell for this much. Cha-ching! Sold for full asking of $650. Includes media shipping. <sighs> $650. You know who else is like a someone known to sell encyclopedias and big books like this is Terry from Mindful Recycle. Oh my goodness, that woman. She finds these all the time and sells them for crazy money. All right, the next one comes from Piece of Scrap and she is a newer Bolo Money. Bolo Money? <laughs> Okay, Bolo is our money. She is a new Bolo Buddies member, Piece of Scrap. This is her YouTube channel. Definitely go and subscribe to her. She paid a dollar for this at the Goodwill and sold it for a full asking price of $55 on Poshmark. It is a Cleveland Indians baseball cap hat, retired Chief Wahoo uh, snapback. And this is what it looks like. And then she did give the breakdown for... Um, Poshmark. So uh, sold for 55. Poshmark took 11 and her earnings on that were 44. Uh, Poshmark takes 20%. Disney Cars Bubba Tow Truck from Storytellers Series. Had this around the house going through my son's old Disney cars. This one was used and played with and still sold for $98. Um, Storyteller series. See, I'm like, this is like, I'm zooming in. I'm trying to figure this one out because I like finding toys. Disney Pixar Storyteller teller series. I'm wondering how big of it. I don't know if it's like just the little mini cars or if it's like one of the bigger cars. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments because that is a bolo. And she sold that on Mercari. And I will tell you that toys and plush, sometimes plush, I'm getting, I'm finding out that Mercari is the place to sell plush. A lot of times it goes for more than it goes for on eBay from my research, um, at least in the category videos that I've done. Um, if you're not a Mercari, there is a link down below. If you join with that link, you will get $10 to shop. And then if you sell on Mercari, $100 worth of stuff, you'll get $20 to shop after you sell $100 worth of stuff. So that's $30 to shop. I mean, come on. Um, and then they also kick me a little money to shop too. So if you guys wanna use my referral link, that'd be awesome. Okay, bought at the Goodwill for $4.98, sold it on Poshmark for 120. It is a vintage uh, cotton shirt. That's all I can see. This is what it looks like. I don't know if it's coogie or not. Um, it kind of looks like Coogie, but I don't know because I can't see it. I'm guessing it maybe just looks like it, but still, they still go for big money, even if they just look like it. But do not keyword spam and put Coogie like or Coogie style um, if you're on eBay. I don't know if the other platforms are as uh, serious about like 
keyword spamming or not, but I, I don't recommend it because um, people will get upset if they think they're getting something and then it's not that. So just be honest with the brand, okay? Um, that would be my recommendation. But again, you guys do what you want to do. But don't keyword spam on eBay because they will get you. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Speaking of things not to do on eBay, not to list on eBay, go check out some of my Vero videos. Here's an example of my most recent one. Um, yeah, eBay will get you if you're listing things that you're not supposed to be listing. So what I do is I post in the Facebook group and I invite members of the group to share things that are happening to them, uh, policy violations, suspensions, what did they list that they shouldn't have, what was taken down, and they share that and I keep, um, I make a video and I share it with you guys and it keeps us all current on items that we should not be listing on eBay. So may not be the most fun video for me to make or the most fun video for you to watch, but definitely turn it on. Just go to the playlist and just play it while you work and listen and then you're going to know not to list those items because it's not worth getting those suspensions and those items being pulled. Because after, I think if you do it so many times, you end up getting a suspension. I don't know how it works. I, they do give you warnings. I mean, I feel like eBay is pretty fair. But once those suspensions start coming in, it's no good. So uh, definitely be aware of what not to list. Uh, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, let me know in the comments, which item was your favorite Bolo? Which one did you not know about? And head over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Looks like this. If you're not there already, I'll link it down below and share a Bolo and, um, just look for, uh, whatever post is up. It'll be under the announcements, uh, featured section, and you can share a Bolo to be featured in a video like this. Um, so I started selling on whatnot and I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it because, I'm kind of listed high, long tail seller. That's what I'm known for. And whatnot is kind of move it quick, sell it cheap, you know, move your inventory. So I wasn't sure. Am I going to like this? Am I going to feel like at the end, like I just gave my stuff away? Or am I going to like, like it? I absolutely loved it. Did I feel like I gave some stuff away? Yeah, but I feel like I gave that stuff away fast, you know, and I made that money fast. Um, did I still make a profit? Yes. Could I have made way more on eBay? Yes. But how long would it have taken me? So I am a full-time eBay seller. I absolutely love eBay. I am not going anywhere, but I also believe in... Um, getting your items on multiple platforms. I also sell on Mercari and Poshmark. I start on eBay and I use List Perfectly to cross post to Mercari and Poshmark, okay? So um, if you're new here, you're hearing this for the first time. If you've been here a while, I'm sorry, this is a repeat. So um, I use List Perfectly, start on eBay, cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. That gets different eyes on my items. If you're interested in cross posting, um, I do have a link down below of a video that I did. It's a demo video. It's going to show you exactly how to do it um, because I'm one of those people where I'm like, if, if I can't see how to do it, I'm just not even going to think about it because I need that demo. I need that visual. I need to know that it's going to benefit my business. So there's a how-to video down below that I did. I feel like it's very user-friendly easy to use. Um, I'm not super techie. I'm getting better since I'm doing YouTube, but I've had to like teach myself everything. But List Perfectly is easy. Uh, if you want to try it after you watch the video, you can get 30% off your first month with my referral code. It is Bolo Buddies, all one word. And I highly recommend it. I've been using it since 2019 and I still love it. Okay. So where was I going with this? What not? So I planned on doing whatnot in August and I had my first show in December. So I, I just didn't want to learn a new platform. And I'm sure there's many of you watching that are thinking the same thing. I don't want to learn a new platform, but it's so fun. It is so fun. And um, I love it when all of you guys come and visit me, even if you don't buy anything, just seeing you in the chat and having you guys there supporting me. I appreciate it so much. I am going to link my whatnot down below. If you guys want to come follow me, I am Bolo Buddies, all one word over on whatnot. But if you haven't joined whatnot, you can use my code. It's a referral code down below and you're going to get 15 bucks to shop. That's free money. You can buy something to resell. I did a video recently 
that somebody bought something on whatnot for 20 and sold it for $999 on eBay. So you can source on whatnot. Um, but it's also a great place just to buy items that you want for yourself. So definitely check it out. And if you're looking for another place to sell, let me tell you how fun it is. It is so fun. Um, and if you're like me and have a money pile that is a money mountain, <laughs> it may be a good idea. It's something to think about because um, you just move it quick. You move it fast. So I do have a referral link down below that is for selling. If you use that link, it's going to say that I referred you and you may get accepted quicker. I've had, I think three people say they used it and got accepted right away. One person did not get accepted and I think she applied in vintage clothing, which from what I understand is kind of a saturated market right now. So they're limiting how many people are signing up for it. I did vintage and thrift, I think, as my category. And I was selling vintage clothing in that category because, I mean, it's vintage, right? So I don't know. But um, obviously, you're going to want to pick a category that you have a lot of stuff to sell. So I just reached out to them and I'm like, do I need to ask to do toys and um, jewelry? Because I have a whole lot of that and I'd really like to sell in those categories too. So waiting to hear back. So yeah, my whatnot links are down below. Okie dokie. Um, let's stop there. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, go share a bolo. Join the Facebook group, Bolo Buddies. If you're not already there, there are two Bolo Buddies Facebook groups. One of them is I just share my videos and I share bolos. I used to be more consistent about sharing bolos. I'd go in and I search eBay for auctions that are going for big money and I'd share them in the group, but I just have not had time. I hope to get back to that in the near future, but right now I'm kind of focusing on some other other things like whatnot and, you know, a lot of YouTube. So you guys are going to be seeing a lot of me. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about whatnot or list perfectly or any other things that are in the description of the video. Um, those are things that I use, products that I use. I use WorthPoint. I use Photo Room. Um, yeah. So if you see it down below, it means I use it and I love it or it wouldn't be there. So uh, thanks again. Leave me a comment of an owl or just write the word hoot. Thanks for watching.